horse out. We're going to get him groomed and brushed off, and then we will get him saddled. Y'all forgive me, I know you probably can't see me in frame. Um, this Mustang's good, but like I said, he likes to spook some things. Uh, what I try to do with horses that are like that, um, I try not to let it bother me. Yes, they need to work through it, but the more I make a big deal about it, the more they will. I'm not saying that that always works, to just kind of ignore it. But if I make things too big of a deal, this horse will never get over it. Not to mention, if I don't make him face his fear, he'll never get over it. Uh, he's a cool little horse. When you're brushing people, please brush where the cinch is going to go. I see people brushing all the time and they never get under the belly. Your cinch is going to go there. You'd hate to get a stick of burr or, or something of that nature under there and you go to cinch that horse up. Woo, buddy. it will get western real quick. Oh. In this bucket that I have, this bucket, hope y'all can see that, this bucket, each one of my horses has one. It's got a curry comb, a brush, a tail comb, and a hoof pick. Uh, that way, if you're coming to ride with me, you just grab yourself a bucket. Oh, we don't like to lift our hoof, huh? Let's go on him off of the wall. I want him off the wall. One, because I want to protect my saddle. Two, because um, he's still a little scared of stuff. Hey. All right, you'll notice I'm being pretty cautious. Not scared of the horse, but I don't know him entirely. So I try to be cautious. Um, I do not have nothing to prove. I know I can get pretty ranchy. I know the horse can get pretty ranchy. Uh, so you'll notice me uh, being cautious around a horse. You'll see I'm not as comfortable around him as I am or as I would be with other horses. Uh, again, not because I'm scared, you see that? See how he he flinched up? Well, that's too bad. We got to fix that. Um, because I might be able to get over it, but the client, who's a lady, that doesn't give her any confidence. And without confidence, she's not going to want to ride. And the whole point of having this horse is to ride. And so for her, um, it's important that I address that. And again, he's, I mean, he's Saddlebrook. He rides really well. Um, they got a good horse. Uh, he just needs time um, and exposure. He's not quite as tense. Stand up on all those legs. He's licking and chewing. Cool. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. So I did it on that side. This is probably his less dominant side. See how he does on this side. See how he's tensing? It's okay. I'm not mad at him for it. Um, they're prey animals, so they're on the defense. Um, and because of my eye placement, I am considered a predator. So, typically with him, I'll saddle him and make him stand for a little bit. He likes to act like he has ants in his pants. There we go. He likes to move around a lot, and that's not a desirable trait, not for me or the person that owns the horse. See how he's moving around? Not a big fan of that. Uh, but we'll work, we'll work through that. We'll get it figured out. Make that right arrow.
<laughs> right back to the wall, see? But I can throw my saddle either way. That wasn't the best throw. I have a shoulder injury on my left side. My left side's a little weaker. But that's all right. Not an excuse, just it looked terrible. I wanted to give you all an explanation. Um, just going through the motions. He may not like this, but hey, at the end of the day, being paid to do a job, I got to do it. Um, so I'll ride him, and then I'll ride the horses that are here at the ranch, um, which I got them all rode up pretty good. But there's one that needs a little more riding, but uh, he he not a big issue. Easy. See that he wanting to sit back. And this is why I typically make him stand for a little bit. Getting saddled is not a bad thing. You may be wondering what I'm doing. Practicing forward motion around this Kubota. Earlier when I was riding him, he happened to spook at a vehicle that made a hole, made a noise. So we want him to get comfortable with, with noises and vehicles because let's say the owner wants to come out and feed or... They just simply don't want to walk with their horse. Well, now they have the opportunity to, to move their horse around a vehicle and not worry about him spooking. Because again, something that I may or may not be comfortable with may not be comfortable to the owner. And so I have to keep them in mind when, oh, when working with their horse, what works for them, what makes them comfortable. So. He's not scared of the flag. It's not his favorite. What we're going to do here in a little bit is turn the, the vehicle on and let him get used to it. Y'all see that? See how he's a little nervous? I'm gonna take his mind off of it. Move him around. There may be some that say, oh, he's not doing it right. That's not gonna work. Well, do it your way. I'm gonna do it mine. You'll come to find out that each horse is different. Each method is different. Sometimes horses respond differently. Sometimes they don't respond at all. Boy. So, as you'll notice, my hands are free and the camera's moving. I have the assistance of my lovely wife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have her get in the vehicle and drive behind me while I'm walking this horse. I've never done this with this horse and earlier when I was horseback, <coughs> he almost went the other direction. He cut really hard right when he heard a vehicle. So we want to just make sure that he's fine with it. Um, will every horse see that licking and chewing? Will every horse respond that quickly? Absolutely not. Um, but we're going to take what we can get. But we always want to end on a good note. He's got it figured out. So we're just going to leave him be now. Uh, if you'll notice, my <coughs> son's heading this way. He's bringing the client's other horse. Maybe we'll get to see him do a little bit of riding. I say we got the vehicle issue worked out, at least with the Kubota. 
Maybe. I forgive me, y'all. Didn't get a chance to see me ride my horse and that Mustang very much. But um, what can I say? Technology doesn't always agree with us. Next up, I have Topo Chico. Uh, at least that's what I like to call him. This is my boss's horse. Um, and uh, we're going to ride him and make sure he's something that my boss wants to ride when he comes out here. Good little horse. Um, he needs a little bit of weight. Um, where he was before didn't allow him to be top man on the totem pole, so he's lost a little bit. <clears throat> Nonetheless, we're going we're gonna to put him to work and uh, see what he can do. He's a cool little horse. I'm actually going to ride him in my wife's saddle. She's got a cool little rig, too. Um, identical to mine, except hers is a lot cooler. She's got a custom-made saddlebag. She's got a custom sewn latigo. Uh, she's got a fresh dally wrap on here. Got a rope keeper. I mean, she's she's got it going on. She's kind enough to let me use her saddle for all my horse-like adventures. So thank you. Get him saddled up. Ride him. And with the heat being the way it is, like I said, you're not going to see me riding a million horses in a day. Um, it's physically demanding. Um, I'm more than capable of doing so. But a lot of times what happens is, is you're riding a bunch of horses not to figure out all the things you need to find out. But if I ride three and I get a good head on those three horses, then I feel comfortable going to my next horse because I know what to expect on those three versus riding 20 and only knowing enough about the one. So that's just something I'd say keep in mind. Um, it's not a competition. I also don't have much to prove, <clears throat> not to those who don't do it. So I don't try to ride a bunch of horses anymore. Um, only the ones that need me to ride them because a good horse eats as much as a bad horse. So keeping all those things in mind. Um, we're going to see how he does with a rope. Um, I've ridden him three times. Uh, the first time was at an auction. They said you could rope off of him. Well, buddy, we're about to put that to test. We'll clean up here in the barn because we like to have a clean area. Um, and if it's not clean, my wife will let me know about it. Or the kids will. So, get him saddled. And then, as old Dale says, on to the next one. By the way, if you don't get all that poop in one scoop, you ain't no cowboy. All right, so, Topo Chico. He's next up for riding. I'm going to get him legged up and warmed up. Uh, I'm going to take him to a little obstacle course Obstacle course that uh, my wife and kids helped me set up. Um, we've since changed a few things, uh, but he needs to go through it. I think that's good for a horse. I ride him a lot out on the trail and out on the property, <clears throat> which is good, but um, I think it's important to give them a task. Kind of keep their mind stimulated and going, and that way they don't get bored with the things you're asking them to do. So, not gonna put him in a round pen. Um, I'm also a firm believer that round pen is, is great. Um, but I don't want to live in a round pen uh, and never get my horse accustomed to the things outside. Like this horse. He, he's another horse that is pretty good. He's broke. He's probably hot. Meaning he's probably got a lot of energy today, but he's a good horse. He's got the he's got the the start to be a really good horse. One of 
his downfalls is, is oh, he does have arthritis. Um, so he does have to have uh, kind of like a ibuprofen for horses before he rides. Um, you definitely can't tell that he has arthritis, but uh, he does. Um, but we're going to try to get him to work through some stuff and see if he'll get on some things. Um, I got a platform I want him to get on. Um, I have a barrel that I want him to rope. I have a barrel that I want him to go around. Um, and no, this is not barrel racing. This is cowboy uh, cowboy training. Uh, but he's not a bad little horse. So we'll start over here in this little box. Oh. Oh. I'm just in here. Um, hopefully I don't get in my son's way. My son is bringing in a pony. He's going to be doing some riding, some training. He taught me everything I know. Oh. Oh. As you can see, this horse is dancing. He's, he's, he's jittery. Oh. Um, I don't like that. That's just like hanging out with somebody that won't shut up. I mean, you don't want that. Um, it's not good for you. It's not good for the horse. It can be dangerous sometimes. That's why the Bible says be still. <laughs> and he hasn't figured that out yet. Once he gives me a what I want, we'll get out of here. Oh. 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 For those of you wondering why the horse is hot and why I haven't ridden him in a while, is because um, I want to give him some time off because he has arthritis. Um, I wasn't sure where he was before, and this terrain out here can be a little rocky. And so um, I had him in this sand pit to adjust, and then I put him in with my horse. Uh, Oh, oh, now we can start. Um, so that's why he hadn't been ridden a little bit. So he wants to just naturally take off. That's not safe. Uh, it's not good. So I'm going to go around this first barrel. And he did it. So awesome. And then we head back to the the box. Oh. 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 So good. Um, we're gonna just ride by. We don't want to interrupt, but he's over there working up. What a cowboy looks like. So this is my my oldest child, my oldest son. Um, again, I don't want to interrupt him, but he is uh, he's flagging a pony right now for a client. Riding a pony. I'm sorry. Right now he's flagging it. Um, he's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of his accomplishments and what he's able to do and how well he's been able to do it. <laughs> See what you got, Cabo? Get on her. Put your saddle on her. Get on her. Hot dog. Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, I bought a hand for the young cowboy getting ready to get on a little paint and mare. He's out here at the ranch trying to make a hand. So um, here is a family. We try to work as a family. Um, my son is riding this. This again, I've, I've said it a million times, but he's earning his own money by riding this animal. Is what I'm getting at. Um, and we try to give our kids the opportunity to have a a skill and knowledge of something. Uh, so that way they have all the tools they need as adults. And so here it is, here he is, getting on. He's about to try to make a hand. I try 
try to give him as much instruction as I can. And then I try to remember to leave him alone sometimes because he's he's pretty knowledgeable. Uh oh, he got the glasses on. Uh oh, looking punchy. He got his boots on and his. Well, I wished I looked that cool. Oh, uh, we don't grab the can oil around here. If you don't get on your saddle with the saddle horn, ain't no kebo. Good, good. This pony, just a couple days, everybody would not move. She's not perfect, but uh, she tends to go a little bit now when you ask her to. She's not quite up to the speed that we'd like her to be, but uh, that comes with time. And she may never be that quick. Um, we're, not, we're unsure of how old she is and we're unsure of who will be riding her, but uh, we just want her to be safe and sound and if a kid wants to ride them by themselves, we'd like for that to be able to be an, an option. And so that's where he comes into play. He's trying to practice being soft in her mouth. <laughs> um, that's not always the case, especially if someone that rode it before you was a little harder. Uh, but he's going to do his best to make that a good little horse for somebody. My son has the same philosophy. He doesn't negotiate with animals. He doesn't like to. Um, Sometimes I'm a little more patient than he is. Sometimes he's a little more patient than I am. But nonetheless, um, we try to get it done. Good, good. So you can see I'm not doing much riding. I told you I was going to ride this horse, and I am, and I plan to, and I have. Um, but being still is just as important as riding. Um, when you're going to these rodeos and play days and things like that, it's funny because you spend more time doing nothing than you do riding. Um, that's preparing. You may stop and get something to drink, eat, you're talking to a friend, uh, a judge, complaining about your time. Uh, so it's really important to have a horse that can do just this. Earlier before he was moving, jittering, moving around, all this other stuff, and, and to me that's just uncomfortable. I like to be slow paced, I like to be calm, comfortable, um, loose reined. Um, I don't want to have to be in my horse's mouth. So this is what I like right here. He's comfortable. Um, we have an understanding. Um, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for on a horse. This is what I want my boss to ride when he's getting on it. Um, I don't want him to be uncomfortable. I want him to be comfortable, confident, and enjoy himself. So that's, that's kind of what we strive for here is horses that you can ride. Oh. That's what we want. So with him, he's good. He just needs to chillax. It's all that good feed we're feeding him. <laughs> See if he does better in the box. Before, he wouldn't go in there and hang out. See if he'll go in here and hang out and just relax a little bit. He may not. He might. Oh. Okay, he's throwing his head, he's throwing his head. Oh. 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 Every time a horse throws his head doesn't mean that it's got kissing spine and it's got the wrong bit in its mouth and the saddle doesn't fit. That's not always the case, people. Sometimes your horse just wants to get away with something. See, horses don't understand right from wrong, but they understand what they can get away with. Earlier, he thought he'd get away with acting stupid in here. Now we've reached a point where he's a little calmer in here. <laughs> he's not exactly where I want him to be but progress in small steps. He wants to move around, okay, let's move around, but we're not moving out of here. Oh. 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 There it is. See if this horse really can be roped off of. That's what 
what they were told. Can't even get this horse to cooperate, let alone throw a rope off of him. be cautious when find out if a horse is a rope horse. A horse and a rope can be dangerous if they don't know each other. Rope horse? I think not. I think you could probably rope off of him a few times before he bucks. <laughs> Can we make him a rope horse? Yes. Do we need to? No. Person riding him is not going to rope off of him. And so you have a horse that you teach a skill, it's not going to do it. Oh, progress, ladies and gentlemen. He got his pony on the, the platform. She wouldn't do that yesterday. So, awesome. Or not yesterday, the day before. Good job! So, this is not the example I want. I want this horse to be perfect and do everything I ask so I look good on camera. But the reality of it is, that's what you're faced with a lot of times, is a horse that reminds you and humbles you that you're not that good. Um, even the best deal with horses sometimes that they have to go back to the drawing board and figure out what they need to do in order to get their horse to cooperate. He's not a bad horse. Yeah, look at that dog real quick. He hasn't worked that hard yet today, ladies and gentlemen, but he's done. Um, we're talking about a perfect horse. Uh, there's no such thing. Um, because even a really good trainer, which I don't consider myself to be the best, but I consider myself to be somebody that can, can get along. Um, even the best trainer comes along with a horse that has to that makes them um, go back and humbles them and reminds them that they're not in control and like my wife said God has dominion or we have dominion over animals but it only goes so far uh, because we serve a mighty God that is truly and utterly in control and the moment that we forget that and the moment that we think we got it figured out and we got a perfect program and we have several videos out and we have success um, God's like oh wait a minute pump your brakes um, I've allowed you to do such things and I've curated the person that you are I breathe breath into your lungs and I give you a new day you know the Bible says the his mercies are new every morning so every morning is a mercy every morning is is an opportunity to do good but that by no means means that we're in control and we got to figure it out because we don't see what she does careful you need to be in a position where you can get that rope off if she spooks because if she spooks she's gonna run if she runs she's gonna drag that with her see <sighs> you all right just because a horse lets you swing a rope off of it doesn't mean it's broke to a rope and broke to rope off of.